Hi, hi, I'm back and I have a huge, wonderful wheel haul. I know it's quite ridiculous. Um, yeah, if you'd like to see what I purchased, because I'm super excited to share it with you, please stay tuned and keep on watching. It's so bulky to the very top, and that, and just so you know, I went to the wonderful wheel at Grand Bazaar and I got amazing treatment. Um, big ups to Ayana who works there because um, she was the one that inboxed me. Not inboxed me. She messaged me and told me that the LA Girl lip tars, what are they called? The LA Girl something. <laughs> the LA Girl glaze, lip glaze were in stock and the cost of them and all our jars. And when I went in, she helped me. She showed me around where everything was. So she's amazing. Definitely, if you go to Grand Bazaar, wonderful will check out Ayana and just let her know I send you and she will help you get whatever you need. What I love with the Grand Bazaar branch though, however, is that even though it's a small branch, they try to get a lot of things and they do have their stuff compact. Some people really don't like that because they think it's like too congested. But however, they are a small branch, so they don't carry a lot of stuff like the West Mall and there's two Trinity branch. So those branches usually, they're much larger and they definitely carry a lot more um, products when they come in stock. A lot of times you would go to that one at Grand Bazaar and you will not get certain things that you get others. However, the joy now I realize is that guess what? They are actually carrying a lot of things now, even, in, even with their small spaces. So I know I'm rambling, but you have to check out Grand Bazaar branch. I love them. I love the staff that's there. I usually get no problems with going there and... Um, I did call to ask them to hold the lip, the LA Girl lip place to me and they did and they were nice enough to tell me that they, there is a 24 hour policy where you can call in and have them hold stuff for you and you can go in and get the stuff. So for those of you who are uncertain if they have certain things in, pro, in stock and all that, call them, find out and maybe even book it a day before so that you can be guaranteed when you go, you're going to get it. So I got these LA Girl gel liners and I actually got them for different people I have brown and brown is actually for me because I know she raves about this for her brow so I want to try it but I, I don't want to go with a dark brown I don't think it's gonna work for me and even compared to the second love that's available at, at Pennywise which is 59 $14.99 and this is actually $30 so if you're interested in a comparison let me know because I'm really interested in that then I brought, bought a dark brown because my sister wanted it and I got a uh, very black I do have to go back because they do have in stock and pick up I think um, Maxine asked me for them too and then my bestie also asked me to get us so I picked up that and those were $30. Then I picked up this Jade Jewel 12 hour made to last pencil because it's green. You know I love green. So I just had to pick this up. And I think I know my bill is like ridiculous. I have to look for everything. But if I'm correct, this is, yes, it's $20 for it. Jordana. Yes, $20 for it then i picked up some of these endless these endless liners from la girls well this one is la girl eyeliner in region violet and i actually picked up this for two reasons to see if i can wear it on my lips i know it's a bit cray cray but also to work with my reveal palette like for my waterline and then I picked up another one of this Nectar, which is the Elegal Endless Auto. I have a review on my blog on this. I did a long, long time ago. You guys can check it out. I'll link it for you. But I've almost finished this one. I had this in like my makeup bag. And when I use, when I was doing a lot of the like orange lips, I was using this. And I recently looked at it after, um, to see, you know, to use it. And realized to so put it in a weekly basket and realized it was like oh, finished like just very little and then I picked up this one in pink puffy because well it's pink and I wasn't sure if my my own that was like that was finished so I'm looking to see all the stuff that I 
have here to do them in batches because I don't really want to um, mess them up and these were actually $14 and this one here is $10. I know I was asked to start giving prices because I don't. I picked up two of the LA Girls lipstick. Oh, these actually were $14. The auto liners were... Oh, these were $15. My bad, these were $15. So these two lipsticks are $14 and I picked up... Um, this one is Intimate and I think I have this already. But I also picked up Sexy which i think i have these two but i want to do a giveaway so i want to use these so i picked up all right so i have a review on the jordana color envy waterproof eye liquid eyeliner and i really really like these so i picked up a couple more this one is royal wish which is like a uh, purple this one is called myth meant passion oh my gosh i'm like so People, I'm like so tired. <laughs> yeah, that's sure. Excuse Rowana. And this one is called Black Diamond. It didn't have Black Envy, which was the black. And I think this black may have glitters in it. So I'm super excited to try it out. Do swatches again for you guys. All right. All right. So let's go with the first one here, which is called Mint Passion, which is this gorgeous green. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy with this. And this one. I'm happy, happy. Then the black diamond. Where's this one? Black diamond. Yeah, black diamond. Because the casing does not look like it has. um. Okay, so this one is not like that black, pure black, but you're seeing glitters in it. So if you want a like almost charcoal black, because this one has glitters in it. That's two swipes. You can check that one. And this one is called, oh my gosh, I'm opening it already. And I can check the name. Royal Wish. For the purple ladies out there, purple fans, oh, you're going to be a little disappointed. It's kind of sheer. But that green is hot. That green is hot. So they had white and brown. I didn't pick up the brown. I don't know why. I know I was supposed to go and pick up a brown, but... It didn't call out my name when I went. So that's it there. The purple, I will definitely have to try and work something out with that. So also, that's those. Then they had a couple new mascaras that I wanted to try. Yes, so they had a couple new mascaras. Something, of course, fell from this brand Malibu Glitz. And Malibu Glitz, I think is a California brand, but I have a friend who is in California and she told me about the brand um, from, what you call it, from either Film Expo or not a makeup show, the other one. Gosh, I don't remember it now. So I remember her talking about so it. So they come, well, there's two sets. This one is a Stimulash Volume Mascara. This is how it looks. So I picked up actually two in it. And you want to make sure they're sealed because I'm seeing people, it, some of them looking like if they're not sealed. And of course that is bugging me. From what Ayana told me is that all are the same. Um, all are the same, they just have different colors. So this is the brush for this one. Super intrigued. Can you guys see that? That is like so awesome. So I'm super excited to try this. I think this is going to be next week's basket. Um, so this is this one, which is the Stimulash Volume Mascara. And then there's this one that says Super Luxurious Eye Opener Mascara. Super Volume, Super Cool. So I bought two in it. This one opened really. This one was sealed also, but it opened pretty fast. Let's see the wand. Oh, look at these wands. This reminds me of the Elf. 3-in-1 mascara and also the bad girl from Benefit. Okay, so I'm super excited to try these. And um, if you guys see it, they are, I think, $18. Yes, they, these mascaras are $18 a piece. All, yes, they're $18 a piece, either one. So I'm super excited to try it out. Next, I actually picked up another one of this 
um, clean color. I I electricity too, and I plan to do a review on it. So I'll let you guys know about that. Then I picked up this Pro Primer. Um, this is a nude one. I had all three colors. They have a nude, a white, a black. I had all three colors, and I eventually gifted all of them. But I really wanted like um, a base to use so that if I want to do videos, I'm not going out and I want to do videos, um, just a simple base instead of using my continuous almond from Jordana. So I can just use that and use this and not that and finish that one out. So yeah, new products again. This is a Princessa. So they are selling the Princessa <laughs> now. The Princessa nail polish. And these are the scented nail polish. And so I picked up this one in Cotton Candy, which is a pink. And I guess that's the whole name of it. The scent <clears throat> is the name. So this is a gorgeous pink color. This is Cotton Candy. I know I don't need any more nail polishes. And this one is Passion Fruit, which is a darker pink. I was really running from the pinks and I picked up two oranges. And I was like, why am I trying to avoid it? Of course, you're not going to smell it. Now when you're going to smell it when you actually apply it. And those were, let's see if I can find it quickly in this long, redonkulous bill. Um, $10 a piece. So that's awesome. I think that's why I'm picking it up. And then she introduced me, and that is Ayana, introduced me to the same Malibu Glitz eyeshadows. And they had... I have a picture and I'll insert it here for you guys. So you can see from that picture that they have a wide range. I'm thinking it's about 20. I have to count it again. I didn't look at it. Um, but they were a lot and I was swatching and swatching. And I rubbed them off with just like regular cotton. And I went, came home and I did a couple stuff and I did see stain in a couple colors that I had on. So I was super excited that yes they do have a pretty decent stain power and i'm so sorry this video is so long but i'm trying to do swatches and so for you guys talk a little bit about the product so that in case you want to go and get yourself some of these you can hook yourself up really good so let's go again this is the malibu glitz um eyeshadow and this one is called jungle and this one is the green one i will actually do swatches of these you guys in another video because it's quite a bit I picked up and these were $10 a piece this is fire which is an orange that other one was green this one is called truffle which is of course a nice chocolate brown and I want to see if I can depart these like that's like gonna be super all of those are like have like this first one is satin jungle which is green satin but shimmer is if the other two this one is matte and this one is dusk it's matte it's a matte color and I'll swatch it again some of my nicks and see how well they work. This one is a satin and this is um, twilight and reminds me of the um, color of the year which is radiant orchid. That's super cute. Yeah. And this one is very similar to that. It's called dusty rose. And you guys just so you guys see it together because they both can look like radiant orchid. But you'll see this one is more pinky tone. This one is more purple. I did swatch them together and they were quite they were a bit different i don't know if you guys can see it my lighting kind of because it's night a bit sucks a bit i mean the package still and this one is called blackout which is like a matte black if it's not matte it's satin but there is one that has shimmers in it i didn't pick up that one this one did stain my hand that stained and there is like a red i think a orange these did also stain and there's like a blue and a green and yellow um, those did not fancy me so that's why and then the whole reason for going to the to what you call it to wonderful world were to get these um, lip glaze and they are the LA Girl glaze lip paint intense color so I got all six and actually got a couple extras Yes, I got a couple extras. You know me, I had to pick up extras and backups. But I picked up for giveaways too and for my sister because I'm sure when she sees this, she's going to be like, where's hers? So this one is called Baby Doll, which is like the baby pink in the bunch. Then you have Bombshell, which is like more the fuchsia pink. This one is called Pin Up, which is the red. The orange is called Hot Mess. 
purple is called koi I'm sure you guys know about this because you've been killing videos watching it to just wait for a <laughs> wonderful world to carry this and blushing which is like the nude so I did pick up extra this for work because I'm sure I'm gonna be killing this so yes that is my haul from wonderful world I don't think I'll be going back into wonderful world for any time I was even telling the girl that um, because I bought backup or whatever I needed and I just decided to you know go ahead and get it so that I don't have to go back in and so reviews are going to be coming with swatches and a lot of these products but I thank you so much for your time if you will stay through to this video because my videos are always long I'm always rambling um stay tuned for, we stay true to the end I know I am like so tired my apologies but I thank you so much if you did and I appreciate it I hope that um you're able to see and learn a little bit from these watches and um yeah that's it so until my next video